So I have a different style of making this mushroom curry. In an empty curry, I put all the mushrooms and let it boil in order to remove any excess water inside the mushroom. Although I have made sure that I have squeezed out all the water during the washing step. As you can see that I was using sticky curry, all the mushrooms were sticking to it. So I had to replace it with non-sticky frying pan. And I had to repeat the process all over again. Nonetheless, this mushroom curry was so yummy that my parents had their second share, which is so after the mushroom turns little brown, I finally add the oil and then stir it well. And then I subsequently add ginger garlic paste and make sure that I keep frying it for a while before it turns little brown. And then only mix it thoroughly with mushrooms. Then add onion, chili powder, and finally chilies, and then stir it well, and it's done. If you ever try this recipe at home, please comment below. And now for the bunny curry. This paneer is locally made and by the way it was so much yummy and easy to fry compared to canned paneer. So I had to cut this paneer into small cubes to make sure that all the flavor from other ingredients gets inside and blends well. If you cut in big cubes it doesn't seem to turn out tasty later on. So first of all I fry this paneer until it turns little brown. Make sure that you don't fry too much. So I cut these four tomatoes into half and then blend it very well. After heating up enough oil in the curry, I put all the onions, ginger and ginger garlic paste and fry these mixtures until it turns light brown. And when this onion and ginger garlic paste turns little brown, I add all these masalas. I put jeera powder, lal mirch powder which is an Indian chili powder, garam masala, Dania powder, paneer butter masala, and then stir it very well. If you have butter, then add it. It will give you more flavor and make the paneer curry so delicious. Put some chilies and then finally tomato paste. Stir it well, and if you want the soup to be more soupy then you can add more water too don't forget to add salt and stir it very well and also add cheese in order to thicken the soup so let it boil for a minute before you add paneer finally and then boil it for a minute before you top it up with coriander then you serve it with some rice and dali and mushroom curry